we already know some of these, you probably know them all, but the first is love. Show love. Show love for each other. That is your vocation as many parents. Show love for your children. Let them experience that love. They will far better understand that there is a loving God if they experience love in their lives because that is the beginning of their understanding of the love that God has for them. The love that you show each other and you show each other. Second is honesty and humility. When Nathan asks you a question and you don't know the answer, be honest and say, I don't know. I'll find out. Don't make up the answer. I know that that's not going to be a problem for you. And as you know, at a &M, and in my prison ministry, I've encountered people where parents have done that. Sometimes it's a little thing. Sometimes some bit of damage can be done. And the third is consistency. Children learn at a very early stage the difference between do as I say and do as I do. And to the best of your human abilities in matters of faith, they have to see even more than what you say. How do you value your faith from your actions, from your deeds. And again, I don't have any worries, but I pass this along uh, for you to think back and watch the videotape. <laughs> See the new life of baptism and welcome him in your holy church. Lord, hear our prayers in response to all of these. Through baptism and confirmation, make him your faithful follower and a witness to your gospel. Lord, hear our prayers. Lead him by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom. Lord, hear our prayers. Make the lives of his parents and godparents examples of faith to inspire this child. Lord, hear our prayers. Keep his family always in your love. Lord, hear our prayers. Renew the grace of our baptism in each one of us. Lord, hear our prayers. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Peter and St. Paul, pray for us. All holy men and women, Pray for us. Almighty and ever-living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the, pure, the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, to rescue everyone from the kingdom of darkness, and to bring us into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child. Make him free from original sin. Make him a temple of your glory, and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior. May he strengthen you with his power, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, we now ask God to give this child new life and abundance through water and the Holy Spirit. O oh God, who by invisible power to accomplish a wonder sign through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water to your creation to show forth the grace of baptism, O oh God, who spirit in the first moments of the world's creation, hovered over the water so the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O oh God, 
who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration, so that from the mystery of ruin in the same element of water would come an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people, set free from slavery to Pharaoh, would prefigure the people of the baptized. O God, whose Son, baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and, as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side along with blood, and after his resurrection, commanded his disciples, Go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church, and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature, created in your image, and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old, may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Parents and Godparents, we have come here to present this child for baptism. By the water of the Holy Spirit, who is to receive the gift of new life from God, who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring him up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives him is kept safe from the poison of sin, to grow always stronger in his heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, Renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin. Profess faith, your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you reject, do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin, prince of darkness? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was married, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church? communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Is it your will that Nathan Charles should be baptized in the faith of the church which, he, which we have all professed? Yes. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. salvation, so that united with his people. 
people, you may remain forever a member of Christ who is priest, prophet, and king. Charles, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity. With family and friends to help you by word and example, bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting light of heaven. Amen. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. He is to walk always as a child of the light. May he keep the flame of faith alive in his heart. When the Lord comes, may he go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. The Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith. The praise of God the Father. Dearly beloved, this child has been born in baptism. He is now called the child of God, for so indeed he is. In confirmation, he will receive the fullness of God's Spirit. In Holy Communion, he will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God his Father in the midst of the church. In the name of this child, in the spirit of our common sonship, let us pray together the words our Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God the Father, through His Son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May He bless the mother of His child. She now thanks God for the gift of her child. May she be one with Him and thank her again forever in heaven. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless the father of his child. He and his wife will be the first teachers of their child in the ways of the faith. May they also be the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith in what they say and do. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. By God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessing upon these sons and daughters of his. May he make them always, wherever they may be, faithful members of his holy people. May he send his peace upon all who are gathered here. In Christ Jesus our Lord, amen. 
May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our right descendant, you may go in peace.